Hello Mentor Teachers and welcome back. In the previous video, we looked at various implementation models for Khan Academy. Once our teachers have chosen a model, they will need your support in making some of the resources available to them to implement the model. In this video, we will learn specific ways in which you can support your teachers. By now, I'm sure you've guessed the two essential resources teachers and students need to use Khan Academy. First, devices. This can be a smartphone, laptop, desktop, or a tablet. Second, internet connectivity, so that students can watch videos and solve the exercises, and teachers can review progress. Linked to these, there are a few aspects that would be useful for you to know. To access Khan Academy, we recommend you use a Google browser. In case students are using Khan Academy on a mobile device, then they can use Khan Academy's mobile app. This app is available for both Android and Apple smartphones. However, teachers can only use Khan Academy on the web browser at the moment and not the mobile app. Khan Academy videos are hosted by YouTube. So you would need to unblock YouTube on the device for Khan Academy to work properly. Do remember to share all this information with your teachers so that they are prepared to use Khan Academy in their classrooms. As a mentor teacher, it is our responsibility that we prepare conditions for our teachers and our students so that they succeed in using Khan Academy. Please review the availability of devices and internet in each of your schools and where needed, ensure that these resources are available to your teachers and students. The first model is Teach, Assign and Practice. As we have seen in the previous video, in this model, students practice on Khan Academy in the school itself. So, for this model to succeed, here are two concrete ways in which you can support the teachers. First and foremost, Find out which of your teachers have chosen this model. The next step is to check whether these teachers have been able to get access to devices for all their students in the class. Teachers would need at least one device for each group of up to five students. You can also coordinate with the computer teacher and school principal to make the school computer lab available for the teacher during this period. The second concrete way for you to support the teachers who are using this model is to make sure that at least two Khan Academy periods per week have been added to the school timetable. This would require your leadership and problem-solving skills. Remember, if you succeed in making it a part of your school timetable, then it helps to make it part of routine for teachers as well as students. Here is how you can think about this. If you have five periods per week allotted to math, then we recommend that you assign two of these five math periods for teaching math using Khan Academy. Considering your school-specific context, you can think about other ways also to make this happen. The second model is using Khan Academy for homework assignments. This model is preferred if you do not have enough devices or internet connectivity at school. So in this model, we try our best to use devices such as smartphones that student parents may have at home. In this model, the teacher needs to connect with parents and request them to provide a device for the students for only 10 to 15 minutes for 2 to 3 days in a week. The success of this model depends on how you and your teachers mobilize the support of the parents in ensuring student learning. Remember, during the pandemic, all of us including our students Parents tried our best to ensure continued learning for our students. We need the same spirit to take the benefit that the technology is offering to us for better learning of our students. You can support your teachers in connecting with parents. You can help them by organizing a parent-teacher meeting and if possible, you can also address the parents. We know that not all students will have access to the device at home. In that case, students who do not have access to devices at home must be given access to devices in school. As a first step, work with your teachers to identify these students and then ensure that these students are given additional support in school. We understand this will be a difficult challenge, 
but all we are asking for is minimum 30 minute of device access to a student in a week to practice on khan academy our academic calendar includes many weeks throughout the year when we have different types of exams during these weeks the school time table may look different in different schools this also means the routine that we have set for implementing khan academy may undergo changes during these times as a teacher mentor you are aware of the need for consistency in practice you are also aware about the tremendous potential khan academy platform has for using it as a remediation or revision tool so during the exam months support the teachers in making the shift needed in the routine in using khan academy for remediation and revision khan academy is a tool for student learning so we just need to use it a little differently during the exam let the exams not break the consistency in practice now that you've learned about each of these implementation models when you meet your teacher next why don't you ask them this question which of the khan academy implementation models are they using in their class teach assign and practice using khan academy for homework or both